On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. In this one, we are actually going to be doing Solra. This has been recommended quite a bit and it's been on my radar for a while. But this one is going to be slightly different in terms of what item we're going for than the other ones. Every unique on the drop table is 1 in 512, but that is a lot of Solra kills. Over the time of me playing RuneScape in general, I have like a thousand kills, a bit more than that if you include my group Iron Man. But I don't want to basically do 50% of that for one video, that would take super long. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take any Fang as a win. The Magic Fang or the Tanzanite Fang, but that means the Pet, the Mutagens, the Onyx and the Serpentine Visage does not count. And the amount of kills I'm going to be doing is 256, which is the drop rate of getting any of the Fangs. But before we get into the video, we have to do the 82 million giveaway from my last video of the Enhanced Weapon Seed. That was a crazy thing to happen. But uh, in my previous giveaways, the highest amount of comments I've ever had is 153 entries. And in this one, we have 791. So the competition here is fierce. Let's see who is going to be the winner of the 82 million giveaway. Let's go ahead and see who it is going to be. And the winner is... Thoma to Senaus. I probably misrepresented uh, that name a lot, but... Uh, Fairly new to RuneScape, mostly been playing it during work, enjoying the series so far, keep it up, would love to see the Dragon Warhammer. I already did that actually, that was my second episode, but uh, that is very nice, a new player getting 82 million, I think that's great. Post editing Alonescape here, unfortunately I've not been able to over the course of three days get a hold of the winner, so if you see this, please contact me as soon as possible. With that, I'm also going to make the giveaway rules a bit more clear and change some things to make it more a smoother process. I will always roll the winner two days after the video is uploaded, so if you see that the video has been out for three days, the giveaway winner has been picked, but uh, I will contact you through a YouTube comment on the video, Discord and in-game. Those are the three ways I will try to contact you. If I cannot get in contact with you within 48 hours, I will pick another winner and just get a person right away that can get the money. The absolutely best way for me to contact you is through Discord, so joining that is highly recommended. Also make sure your Discord tag in the channel is the same as your RuneScape name, so I can just search you and find you right away and send you a message. Thanks. Over the course of this video, I would not be surprised if I did change up my setup a bit, because this is a lot of switches, an 8-way switch with the anti-venom, so I can actually use an ancestral hat for some more damage. But um, I'm going to start off with this, see how it goes, if I feel comfortable with this, over all the 256 kills, I might stay with this. Otherwise, I might go for like a pure range setup, sell some stuff, buy a bow for Adenan, and just camp that and be more relaxed. I guess we'll see over time. And when it comes to my collection log, I have 1001 kill count on this boss. The only items I'm missing is the mutagens and the pets, so getting any of those would be really nice. But of course, they do not count towards winning the challenge. Only the magic fang or the tanzanite fang would. But that means we're going to be ending at 1257 kill count if I do not win the challenge. I mean, it is a lot of switches. It's kind of annoying and tedious to do, but the first kill, let's see what it is. Nothing too great. And the kill time is 2 minutes. Kind of interesting, because on my group Iron Man with the bow for Adinan, when I only camped that, of course I was using Thralls as well, so that might have skewed it a bit, but those kills were around 2 minutes as well, and I'm really like tryharding now, so I'm going to do a couple of more kills with this setup, and then I might consider buying a bow for Adinan. Okay, this is going to be a big difference though, this was really good. That was a 120! Okay, that's the potential of using this gear. That's why I wanted to try it, even though it might not be the thing I go for the entire time. But that is an elite combat task as well. Solra speed trialist. Really nice. 
Maybe I was just rusty. 1 minute and 12 seconds. The speed is picking up now. So I think the gear is working fine for now. Man, what? I got hit like a 30 into a 40. That was ridiculous. I didn't- I only died one time in my last video on 50 corrupted gauntlets and I already died on kill cam number 10 here. Oh, did I get it? Oh, snake rebound. I was actually trying to get that for a bit. Uh, it's killing the boss with vengeance. So the last hit has to be the rebound from the vengeance. Pretty cool. Oh, this was so fast. This is interesting to see the speed. One minute and six seconds. That's even a new personal best. And consider that's over 1,020 kills. Uh, I think the setup is good. I want to get a sub one minute in this video. Are you- what? Are you kidding me? I've done 35 kills. And I get the Tanzanite Fang. Oh, I guess it's as easy as that. That is the grind done already. I was always like putting this off because I thought it would take so long, but uh, I guess not. 35 kills is all it takes. That is ridiculous. Well, we won the challenge, I suppose, but uh, yeah, that, that was fast. Now, of course, because I was so extremely lucky with that, we have to do another activity and I have the perfect one. I am going to do some God Wars for the first time in the series, and the boss we're going to be taking on is Krill Tutsaroth, or however you pronounce that, honestly I have no idea. It's the Samurak boss of the God Wars dungeon, and uh, there are two items that are both 1 in 127 drop rate, and that is the Steam Battle Staff and the Samurakian Spear. The Samurakian Spear being worth quite a lot more than the Steam Battle Staff, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be hunting the Steam Battle Staff. Why I think that's more interesting is because if I do get a Samuraki and Spear, that is a lot of money I could potentially have to give away. But if I was going for the Samuraki and Spear, there would never really be any loss for me because if I got the Spear, I get to keep everything. If I do not get it, I would have to give away like 500k. So I'm going to be going for the Steam Battle Staff, doing 127 kills in total. The way I used to do Krill back in the days was by using melee and doing like 3-4 kills every single trip, but there is another method that is a lot harder to do where you have to mark a bunch of tiles and you run around with the bow of Feradinen and hit the boss now and then and you basically take 0 hits. So I'm going to actually spend 148 million maybe, let's see what it goes for. 146 million on a bow of Feradinen and I'm not going to make it infinite charge because I do want to sell it back later, but at least I have some crystal shards from the corrupted gauntlet grind right here. So this should last me quite some time. Let's do 200. And now it is charged with how many charges? 20,000. That should definitely be enough. And there he is. He is actually very intimidating because I have never done this method before. I watched a guide and I just marked all the tiles. This is going to be a learning process for sure, but it is, as I said, something I want to learn. And uh, I have currently 101 kill count on this boss. Everything done with melee. I've been very lucky as you can see on this boss so far, but no steam battle staff. And the end KC, if we do not get the steam battle staff, is going to be 228. Overall, this is my gear setup, but let's have a go at this and enter the room. Okay, there it is. That's the first kill. I have to say it was very bad. Uh, I could have done a lot of things better, but uh, I need to also turn on right click. I don't accidentally click on the minions all the time. I guess uh, this is the one. That's going to make it a bit easier, but uh, yeah, first kill down at least and I did not die. Also, after you complete the kill, you can actually blood barrage off these minions. They stack up real nice and you can actually get full HP between every single kill. You can see I'm at 86 and I started at like 30 HP. And I do take a bit of damage when doing this and I do screw up sometimes, so it is very nice to do this. Even though I basically screwed everything up and that was my first time ever doing it, I still managed to get 7 kills in that trip and I know I can get a lot more than that if I do it correctly. I should basically be able to stay there as long as I have prey potions I'm pretty sure, but uh, I have to get better at it and I mean with melee it was like 4 kills a trip so already better even though I'm terrible. Want to make a quick mention about the minions in this room. Uh, sometimes even if I do not get hit by the boss at all, the minions can just absolutely destroy me. I did bring actually the Justiciar helmet to get some more ranged defense because I'm praying magic. I don't really need magic defense. And the crystal helmet is good for damage, but compared to all the other pieces, it doesn't give that much more accuracy and uh, damage increase for the Bow Feradinen. 
So always, when I do God Wars and stuff like that, I bring the Justiciar Helmet to get some more ranged and melee defense from the minions. But uh, even though I have that, sometimes these minions just absolutely shred me. As you can see, it is quite a lot of damage you can take sometimes if you're unlucky. Man, 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 the day has been very interesting. Uh, I lost my cannon base because I teleported out without picking it up. And then I went in using an ecumenical key, went all the way back. And I tried to place another one and it said, no, you can't do that. You have to reclaim your lost cannons. I went back to Falador and I picked up a new one. And I came back and I realized I forgot anti-poisons. So this is now the third time I am back here, and I think I have everything now. When I watch people's guides, they say that you basically don't lose any food here. They just say, ah, oh, you always profit food, you just uh, pretty much kill the boss, and then you heal off the minions, and you're fine, and you get some food drops from the minions. But uh, since I started, I've done 23 kills, and I've got two food drops from the minions overall. So that is pretty unfortunate, maybe I'm just unlucky, but also I do actually get hit by the boss now and then, so I am kind of struggling doing this. But it's all a learning process, I'm probably running the wrong way sometimes and screwing up things. But uh, over time, hopefully over these 127 kills, I will learn quite a bit. I don't know if I actually showed an entire kill, but uh, you can see the markers on the ground, they have different numbers. And I start on number one, do one attack, run to number two. And then now I click on my cannon base, which is a red click, meaning the boss just can't hit me for some reason. I don't know, Pepega boss. Run to four, five, and every single time I go to a marker, I hit the boss once. Sometimes here on seven and eight, I do actually just skip eight because I'm scared of the boss. I'm inexperienced and I just go to uh, one again. But uh, yeah, I just repeat this over and over until the boss is dead. After that, I just range the uh, uh, black ad, I don't know what it's actually called, but the major. And then I mage the two minions at the end, stacking them together so I can barrage them. What? M wait, my cannon base? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this is proof I've never done this before, man. Ah, oh, I didn't know that the cannon base despawns after the timer. I guess I have to pick it up randomly, like, after a couple of kills and then replace it. Ah, oh, okay, well, I guess I have to reclaim it again. But that is kind of awkward. I guess the trip is ending now. Nice, would you look at that? Godsword Shard 2, the first unique of the grind. And it is like 150k, of course, but not a collection log pop-up because I've already got that before. But nonetheless, it's always nice to see uniques on the ground. Not quite the halfway mark, but a milestone I would say. That is kill count number 50 of the grind. And I have only died one time so far, which is actually the trip before this. That's why you can see the uh, things I have on the ground right here. And I did actually get hit like a 45 or something from the boss because I was a bit slow. But uh, one death in 50 kill counts when I've never done this strategy before is uh, pretty good to me. Yo, Steam Battlestaff, there it is. <laughs> the only unique that I get is the one I am hunting. Steam Battlestaff worth 36,000. That's a win again. W after W in this video. I mean, last one I really took a loss of uh, the enhanced weapon seed, but uh, this one we're doing good. That is 55 kill count for winning this challenge. Very nice. You know, that is the beauty of this series. Sometimes I can do Corrupted Gauntlet, try to get a 1 in 50 to win the challenge, and I happen to get a 1 in 400 instead, the Enhanced Weapon Seed, and I have to give away 82 million. And then in some videos, I go for the Fangs, or I go for the uh, Steam Battle Staff, and I do not get anything except exactly what I wanted. The solo, of course, the Tanzanite Fang in only 36 or 35 KC, I can't really remember. And then the Krill, I got the Steam Battle Staff. And by the way, look at this log, 156 kills, and I only missed the Staff of the Dead and the Pet. Might go back for that in the future, you know, could do an episode on Krill again, trying to go for the Staff of the Dead. That would be an interesting video, I think. But um, yeah, this time we did win both of the challenges, so no giveaway this time. Regardless of that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and thank you guys so much for all the support on the series. It's been quite amazing. I mean, 700 plus comments on the last episode is just ridiculous. Of course, it was a big giveaway, but still, seeing so much engagement is really, really nice. But until next time, guys, remember to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one.
Take care.